friends. So let's say you get a wig and you're sitting here, put it on, hair flops in your face and you're sitting here looking like Cousin It. We're going to show you, or I'm going to show you, how I would fix it. So this is Beltress Allegro, and Beltress to me tends to kind of be, always do this, <laughs> like it just doesn't want to stay where it's supposed to. Their, their fibers are great, they're very fine, they're just like real normal hair, so it's very good hair, it feels real. Their caps run a little bit big on me too, but you can't really walk around like this forever looking like this and some people have a problem getting the hair to stay where where it will stay so what we're gonna do is first I kind of want to just get in here and open up these fibers a little bit kind of pull them backwards because I find that a lot of heat friendly styles tend to want to fall forward um, so get in get your fingers in there and kind of pull them back it'll also kind of give you a little bit of lift in that in there um, also, this is Allegro by Beltress in Butterbeer Blonde, and I have her, um, glued down in the front just for per for this purpose of, like, kind of showing you guys this. Um, and I'm sorry if I keep looking up there, I don't know why I'm looking over there. <laughs> I think it's because my mirror's over here, but I know my camera's over here, so I'm sorry if I'm, like, my eyes keep going that way. And also, I'm trying to see the hair in here. So, some things you're going to need right off the bat, and I, I thought I would just use simple things that like everybody has probably, so that you don't have to go out, you don't have to buy a steamer or any of those things. So the things I'm going to be using are the Aesthetica Revitalize and Shine Wig Mist. You can use any wig conditioning spray or even water if you want. So you don't even have to run out and buy this if you don't want. I would recommend using a conditioning spray. Also, you can do this with a regular synthetic wig. It doesn't have to be a heat-friendly wig. I've done this on a million regular synthetics and it still works. So don't think you need a heat-friendly wig to use what I'm gonna use. So wig mist or water. And then I'm also gonna use the Aesthetica Shape and Hold if I need it. This is like a um, hairspray for your wig. So I'm gonna use those two things. I'm probably gonna use this wide tooth comb. You can get these. Um, John Renault has some real nice ones that Beauty Nook sells, and um, also you can get these pretty much anywhere. And then I'm going to use my hair dryer. So my hair dryer has three settings. I have a cool, a warm, and a hot. I never use the hot on wigs, not usually, unless they unless it's heat friendly, then you can. Um, you can use it on cool. I've even used it on warm with regular synthetics. It still works. Have not ruined a wig yet. So there you have it. <laughs> but. I will preface this by saying, do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for your, you know, if you use too much heat on your wig and bad things happen. I'm just going to show you the process of which I do things to keep it this up and out of my hair. So the first thing you want to do is take your wig conditioning spray or your water. And it's, this is will be especially important if it's a regular th synthetic because you want to wet the hair down because we're going to be retraining it on where we want it to go. So I'm going to take my wig mist spray and wet down this area right here because I want this hair to kind of go back. So I'm going to hold it where I want it. I'm going to take my hair dryer. I'm going to put this on warm just because this is a heat friendly wig. So you're going to hold it. I'm going to actually turn this up to hot or to hot. Now, if it's a regular synthetic, you'll not want to turn it on hot. You may want to start start with cool and work your way up. And you're going to have to do this several times because you're training the hair. It's not going to happen overnight. You may, you may have to do it five, six, eight, ten times. It'll depend on the wig. It's going to depend on where you want the hair to stay, those things. But what, what we're doing here is we're retraining the hair to stay back and away from the face. This is also a good way to get like a little bit of lift up in there. If you want to pull the hair up, blow the air in there, the hot air. And again, you could do this with a regular synthetic. I'm just using my heat friendly. I just literally pulled this wig out of my closet because the only reason I did was because I have more problems with this happening with Beltress wigs than probably any other wig. But again, you could do this on a non-heat friendly style. So see already we're starting to get some lift. It's starting to stay, want to stay back away from the face. And I like to wet it first just to keep it conditioned. 
also the water will help it kind of train it, help it train to stay in position like this. And you just want to keep doing that until this is how you want it. You can go up higher into the, towards the root here. And whenever you're done blow drying the air, hold it and let it cool like that, okay? So whenever you're holding it, you wanna hold it until the hair completely cools down. So we're gonna hold this. And like I said, you'll pro you may need to do this a few times. So hold it, let it, let, let it cool down where it's at and then release it from your hand. So I've added a little, you know, I've added a little bit of body to it and it's staying out of the way. Now, of course, this is probably where you want your maximum effort right here. So we're going to blow air on it and hold it. This way it'll train it to stay back and out of the face. Stop your dryer and then continue to hold it. Continue to hold it you until it's cooled down because that's when it sets it is when it's cooled cooled down. So see that's already up away from the face on that side. And I've actually kind of straightened this piece out so a little bit with um, I also sometimes will use one of these on my heat friendly wigs if you want to get some lift up here this is what this would be good for you could also use this on the front just put like let's just say this is plugged in you could put this right here like this and while it's on and then pull this away from the face as well so you could even use that tool I'm just showing you with my hair dryer because pretty much everybody has a hair dryer and some water so you just want to keep doing this. You can even get up in there to get some volume. Again, you're going to hold it until it's where you want it, okay? So there's quite a bit of lift we've got up and away from the face, and we've got a little bit of body going over there. Okay, I'm going to pull my... So this side, uh, again, I want to... I'm just kind of messing with this hair a little bit to get it to go back like this, like so let me get you I don't want to pull you in too close but I want you to see what I'm doing so I'm going to wet this hair over here take my hair dryer again pull the hair up and away and you want to just hold it Hold it where you want it. And like I said, this may take two or three times. I would like to get like a little bit of lift right up here too. So I'm going to wet it. I'm going to hold the hair where I want it. Put the dryer on it. I actually have this on top for this way. It's heat friendly. It's not going to hurt it. If you're using it on a regular synthetic, I wouldn't use hot air. I would use start with cool and work your way up. Again, just holding the hair. Okay, you're going to continue to hold till it cools down. Because that's where it sets it. It sets when it cools. So if you're not holding it like this and you keep doing this, it's not going to work. You have got to hold it. You have got to hold that style where you want it until it cools. So there I have this like really nice contour here now. It's staying out of my face. I've got some extra body going up top. Totally different wig, right? <laughs> totally different wig now. And again, if you just if you want more lift, just keep wetting it down, blowing the air in there. Hold it till it cools. If you have a cool setting, you can even switch it to cool and cool it off with the dryer to help it cool down. That's another way to cool the hair if you don't want to hold it. And so, see how much body you get just by doing that? So this is like a whole nother, this is like a whole different wig than when I first started. <laughs> totally a whole different wig. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get it so you can see like the whole picture. So again, you just want to keep doing that until it's the way you want it. I know especially a lot of you don't like hair in your face. So just pull the hair up. Blow it 
let it cool like that. Again, you can do this with a regular synthetic. Don't think that you're, you know, it, this is only for heat friendly hair. It's not. I would just start with the cool setting though. So to finish it off, um, I would use a little bit of shape and hold just to kind of hold it in this position. So just lightly mist and hold like that. So let me fix this a little bit. I'm sorry, I always am like horrible at keeping my camera in the right position. So that's pretty much how I get my hair out of my face. It's that simple guys, you literally only need two items and maybe your comb, like if you want to use the comb to hold your hair up, you can do that if you don't want to use your hands. But that this is like a whole other wig right now. You know, it's, it's up out of my face, I've added some body to it, I've added some lift to it. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope this helped you guys a lot. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions or message me, whatever you guys need to do. I'll help you out along the way. Thank you so much. Also, I did buy this wig at the Beauty Nook, so I'll leave a code, um, you know, a link to their group, a link to the support group. And also, if you use my code, you can get 35% off your first order with them. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Have a, have a great day. I'll see you next time.